Hi guys! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Leanne and I currently write a blog called Broken Big Smoke, which is all about my life here in London. Um, one of the things I don't cover on that blog is beauty, which might seem a bit odd given it's a lifestyle blog and beauty is generally a part of people's lifestyle, but there is one reason for that and one reason only. I am completely clueless when it comes to makeup. Nope, that is not a joke. I, at the almost age of 30, I know, I don't look it at all, I'm absolutely clueless. I don't know how to apply the vast majority of makeup products that people half my age use on a daily basis. I thought it would be a good start to give you an insight into what my regular routine is, if you can call it a routine, it's really not a routine whatsoever. So for the past week I've been recording myself morning and night showing you all the products that I've used throughout the last week. Now I do want to point out that this week has not been a regular week. I've worn makeup way more than I would usually do for a couple of reasons. With it being the holidays, I haven't had to go to work every day and I've actually filmed a few videos for this channel and my other channel and I like to wear makeup when I make videos because obviously it makes me look a little bit more presentable. Just a little warning, this is my face without any makeup on. You're gonna be seeing a lot of that for the next couple of minutes. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Morning guys. Yeah, I woke up like this. My hair is a complete disaster area. So this morning I am using a Garnier Micellar Cleansing Wash. Hey guys, so I'm about to hop into a shower for the evening. Just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what I'm gonna use. We have got the Clearasol Ultra Overnight Wash. It's almost finished. Once again, I'm just gonna add some more moisturizer before I go to bed. me.
home tomorrow, so I'm gonna go and treat myself to a bath. So I'm gonna put in some of this Elemis Spa at Home, another hotel miniature, um, give me some bubbles, and yeah, just chill out for a bit. Hey guys, it's Friday. I have, it's not Friday, it's Thursday. It's New Year's Eve. I've been working from home this morning. Literally nothing has happened whatsoever. Um, so as you can see, I haven't even brushed my hair. I think I'm gonna hop in the shower. So I am running very late. So this will probably get a little quicker than usual. This is my basic go-to makeup routine for the rare occasions that I do wear makeup. In case you're wondering why on earth I've got a single false nail on, um, I broke it like properly down to the quick and it was quite painful, kept getting caught and stuff, so I decided to shove a false nail on that I had left over from uh, when I went to Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, it's like a playing card. Anyway, so now that I have moisturised with the same Nivea Soft I've been using all week, I'm gonna start with this. This is Beautiful Movements um, Mineral Powder Makeup. So this is a concealer and I've also got the foundation as well. These are in the shade Stripped. Um, they're a cheaper version of Bare Minerals basically. Not that I've tried Bare Minerals, but this I found on a wonderful use YouTube channel and it was far more reasonable price for me to consider buying. I do think, I'm just going to put this extra light on, that's better. I do think, I think what the Bare Minerals is what, £49 for a set. This was £14 for the foundation and I think £8 for the concealer. This is my second foundation pot, but still my first concealer because I don't use quite as much of it and sometimes I don't even bother uh, using the concealer at all. I just throw on some powder, which is probably not a thing to do. Uh, so as you've probably guessed, hopefully, I'm just going over my reddest parts, which in this camera look even redder, which is slightly disturbing. Um, but yeah. Oh, I should have said as well, I'm using these Eco Tools Fresh and Flawless brushes. Which I really like. got red marks on the side of my nose from my glasses. I do occasionally wear contacts but I'm too lazy for them. A bit like I'm too lazy for makeup. So um, hopefully you can see that's improved the colour slightly. It doesn't look quite as good in this uh, camera as it usually does. So now on to the foundation. I have no idea if I'm applying this properly whatsoever. It seems to do the trick for me. But if you have any tips on how best to apply mineral makeup, then I'll leave them in the comments. This is 100% not a tutorial or a how to. This is simply me showing you the level of my skills or lack of at the beginning of this little vlog series.
last red. A little bit more even. Not flawless though. Um, I have never done anything with my eyebrows ever in my life, apart from have them threaded. This is literally the only way I know how to apply eyeliner. And I always wear black, which I've been told is too harsh for me. Next up, oh sorry, I should have said this was the number seven Amazing Eyes eyeliner. I got this in a number seven calendar from last year. Two years ago, two Christmases ago. put too much on my lower lashes at all so this is volume one second I think I got this in a beauty box at a blogger event um, I really like this it's uh, I would definitely say one second volume is a perfect name for it and then usually that would be it I would just throw some lip balm on but since today is new year I am gonna put some be more Taylor red lip on and if you'd said to me two years ago I'd be brave enough to put on red lipstick and leave the house I'd have told you you were crazy but the number one thing I found that really helps is a good lip liner and this one believe it or not is Makeup Academy one pound from Superdrug amazing I've actually got two of these just in case so yeah just go over the lip line actually I should probably put it a bit lower but that's fine and then I've got this Clinique Cherry Pop lipstick which is not the usual one I use but this came free with Cosmopolitan or a company magazine I'm not entirely sure and it's actually quite nice although I do find it doesn't have the staying power of the cheap one pound makeup academy one that I used to use and of course blot well, I don't really know why you blot I make a video on that There we go. I am ready to go. See you later. Uh, it's 2 a.m. I am just home. Happy New Year, guys. Um, I'm going to be good and take my makeup off. I've not actually got that much of it left on by the looks of it. It shouldn't take too long. And then I'm going to get my beauty sleep. So it's five o'clock at night and as you can see, I haven't even brushed my hair today, but my flatmate has just left with her boyfriend. So I have decided I am going to go and film a YouTube video because obviously. So for that, I'm gonna need to smarten up this face a little bit. Honestly, how do uh, YouTubers do this? Like. I'm kind of using my camera as a mirror, which can't be very good, surely. It's 
So yeah, personally, I think spending my New Year's Day watching them with Baku videos, they're worse life choices. Much worse life choices. Saturday and it's already after two o'clock. I'm going to the cinema with my friend Jen later so I guess I should get myself ready. This is basically exactly the same as what I did yesterday. One of the things I do want to experiment with on this channel is uh, using liquid foundation. The reason I use powder foundation uh, is for a couple of reasons actually. It's mineral powder so it's better for your skin. Um, I have very pale skin as you can probably tell and I find it extremely difficult to find a foundation that matches. Um, but on top of that, I just find it easier to apply. Um, I don't know if that's because I have such a problem finding foundation that matches my skin tone, or if I just suck at applying makeup, which I know I do, hence why I started this channel. I will do my lower lash 
lash line. And I'll skip the eyeliner because I'm lazy like that. And if you just hold on one second, I'm gonna go and get a lipstick. I'm back. So as much as I love my red Taylor Swift-esque lipstick, it's not really suitable every single day. Well, for Christmas, I got this Max Factor Lip Finty Lasting Lip Tint. And I kind of just use it like I use lip liner. Do the outside first, then colour in the rest. Okay. I don't know if that's how you're meant to do it, but I like it. Good morning! It's not actually morning, it's like after one o'clock because I have done nothing. That's a lie. I've been tidying up. I've been clearing my room. I've been trying to find a good place to film videos from because I have a very very small room and I'm trying to find the best places where it doesn't look like a shit tip basically. Um, so yeah. But I am going to film an empties video so I need to get myself less red. So yeah, this is the end of my first week. I've been enjoying it. Um, I've filmed quite a few vlog videos um, just to get myself ahead of the game, if you will. I don't know why I don't just put that on straight away. Um, this is going to be the first week in my skin video. I don't really know how that's going to go down, but this was the idea I had before I started the channel. So yeah, no new products today. Actually, that's a lie. I'm gonna use a different lipstick because I feel like I should be a bit more bold in my lipstick choices. I don't have very many lipsticks or lip colors. Um, but this time I'm gonna go for a bright pink color. I don't actually know if it's gonna suit me because of how red my skin can be. But hey. Okay, for the base. under my eyes. That will have to be one of the first things we tackle, internet, team internet. So I should have said, yeah, this is the colour Butter Kiss Lipstick in Pink Icing. Um, I have no idea who makes it or where I got it from. W7 make it. I'm guessing it was in a gift bag from a blogger event. just about to hop in the shower. As you can see, I've been crying at YouTube videos. <laughs> My mascara is running everywhere. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll speak to you soon.